Let's take a look and see how we're able to change the life cycle of an OSGI bundle. Now in the previous exercise, at the very end, I showed you guys how that's done, but let's dive into a little bit more detail on kind of what's happening behind the scenes. So over here in my console, one of the commands that we use is LB. Uh, LB stands for list bundles, right? So by typing LB and hitting enter, it shows us a list of all of the bundles that are within this OSGI runtime. We see six here. One of them for me is in the resolve state. So what I can do is start the bundle by typing the start command, followed by the ID number that corresponds with the bundle that I want to start. So in this case, it'll be the ID number one, right? We see hello world appear. Okay. And then if I type LB one more time, it'll show that my hello OSGI bundle is in the active state. So this is where we want to be. Alternatively, if I want to stop the bundle, I can type stop followed by the specific module number that I want to stop. So in this case, let's do the hello OSGI one more time, and then it prints out goodbye world. I opened up the bundle activator class in the last video. Again, this is over in the source, calm life rate training, hello OSGI, and then the hello bundle activator. Right, we have two methods here within the activator, start and stop. When the start method is called, it's called when I type start here in the console followed by that module number. Once the start command is invoked, it's actually calling the start method. In fact, it is uh, one and the same in this situation, right? And same with stop as well. If I type stop, it's gonna be calling the stop method and then whatever sort of logic is there will be implemented as well. So in this example, it's a very a simple use case, but if we really wanted to, we can go into uh, sophisticated things within these methods. Now, again, in the life rate world, we typically don't use the bundle activators. Uh, we have different ways of having our logic take place when these bundle commands are taken care of. So this wraps it up for this video, demonstrating how to invoke different lifecycle methods of a bundle. And I will see you in the next video.